Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, taking another quick look at Identity V. Uh, we'll take another peek at the, I guess, story mode to get us introduced to the game, uh, and we'll sort of pick up the pace. Um, I'm sort of eager to get into the game as a whole and start playing as characters, unlocking stuff, like abilities, and other items, and, and just sort of generally playing the game as a whole. Um, but we'll see if we can get through a little bit more of the story mode while we sort of have it up and open. So let's get into it. All right, so check the di di yeah. Bleah. Check the diaries and deduce the hunter's details to acquire Survivor Thief. So let's go back to the bookcase. Already, so let's. let's get us some survivors for some. They got a cipher.
I don't want to share the ability, so I'm hoping that uh, you know, the more I play and use these characters. Okay, alright. worry about so let's fuck you <laughs> and let's find a seat for you <laughs> Survivors, they're classifying them as survivors, so. I won! I won! Lost victory! character to use as a survivor. These thorns were apparently used to protect things that he didn't want others to touch, or to trap those he intended to trap. Even if someone wanted to try their luck, their location would surely be exposed. 
because of the accompanying scream they were let out when pricked. Simple, yet effective. I think the hunter must have used a pair of iron gloves to avoid being pricked by the thorns. a while. I'm exhausted. <laughs> About ten years ago, I was found unconscious at the scene of a fire due to an accident. I wasn't injured, but when I woke up, I realized I had lost my memory. It was with the help of others that I learned I was a fairly well-known writer of detective stories, but I could not recall a single memory even when reading the words that were written by my own hand. Slowly, my body recovered, but my memory showed no sign of returning. Fortunately, memory loss didn't occur again after that incident, and I was simply content to live with this new identity. Things rarely turn out as one hopes. I was quickly discarded by the public since I could no longer write anything of significance. And the detective firm that I started wasn't getting any worthwhile cases. I gave up on myself and turned to drink. I began having these episodes. After drinking heavily, I would wake up the next day with cuts all over my body. Sometimes I would come to only to notice strange objects that I would not normally use next to me. At first I chopped it up to alcohol-induced blackouts, but even after I sobered up, the situation persisted and there were no signs that the episodes would stop. It got worse and the blackouts lasted longer and longer. In the end, I realized the root of the problem, at least according to my neighbors. It wasn't memory loss, but another soul in my body that had awakened. I don't trust the other guy. Even now I don't know what he's done while I was asleep. <gasps> He suddenly appeared and said to me, trust yourself. Of course I trust myself, but not him. I need to prepare for the worst. If he really had something to do with this, I need to be able to prove my innocence. 
Who's gonna believe me when I say that two souls can exist in one body? This is not a time in history when people believe in things like witchcraft. Scene four. Dislocated identities, dislocated bodies, dislocated souls. The dislocation of thyself. Perhaps these were all just coincidences, but there, but there must be condition, con contradictions. If the contradictions weren't about me, then they must be someone else. One point. Okay. So let's Okay, so you have talent points. Oh, many points eleven for hunters. So what do we have here? Speed for sure. Okay, I'll do that. And I am locked. Entry for the thief, I think. up on that chair. That is the end of the tutorial. Play another quick match here and call it oh, new location.
don't know how well I'll do if I'm actually in a actual match, but hmm, gotta try, right? Used to that, that's for sure. Oh, starting to get closer. Okay. and then we can hit the exit. Chest. Still need one more cipher, so let's find out where everyone is. teammates they got the cipher then we just need to hit an exit so let's do that and we got the exit in a chest oh, this seems so far away to the highlighted gate. We are out of here. Nice. Good old thumbs up system across the board, so why not? Spectate as well. I guess I'm spectating the last survivor. He's gonna run right into the run right past the hunter. 
Come on, you can do it. Nice. Flawless for the survivors. Some XP and return to the lobby. Detective costume, okay. Okay. And I'll get some, some soundtrack stuff. good. I'll play around with this some more just to unlock some stuff and I'll definitely be bringing some some more footage of matches leading up but this, this has been sort of the introduction for Identity V. Uh, quite cool. Like love the art style, uh, love the gameplay and we'll see what comes of it the more I discover and unlock. Uh, but until then, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah!